Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the Antagonizer here on Thursday to start our brand new series uh, that I promised and uh, <laughs> finally can actually deliver on. Uh, I was a lot of talk and uh, a lot of flash and no flame, so to speak. <laughs> uh, but we have started Kingdom Come uh, Deliverance. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, I'm just getting all the shares out. Alright, shares are out. Now, here's to hoping that nothing decides to, uh, decides to crash. <laughs> um, I'm really, really hoping on that. <laughs> I just want to get everything set up and ready before we dive in. And we're going to be starting a, uh, a new one today. So, new game and a new timeline. And here we go. <laughs> the early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV. But now, with the son Wenchelus, the idol, I read too slow. The king's inactivity had angered many of the nobles, as well as his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Again, I'm too slow. <laughs> I try and, like, do a nice epic reading of it, but, uh, yeah, just more of an epic fail. <laughs> uh, gorgeous, isn't that? And just so you know, this is with low graphics. Um, <clears throat> They put together a really, really beautiful game. And it looks like the frame rate is staying right. Silver Scarlets, 1403. And there it is, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Excuse me, sorry about that. And just letting it drink in right now. It's I don't think I've ever been to like some of these places like the mine here. Um I played this a few times, uh really never far. <clears throat> so it's really uh really weird to see some of these places. Get myself my drink ready. <laughs> As we know, that's how they sounded. <laughs> His real name is Husband. Sounds like me on a weekend. Oh, it still sounds like me on a weekend. <laughs> oh, Husband, you randy old go-to. Speaking of, where is our Randy Old Goat? Ah, uh, our hero passed out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is going to be tomorrow, trying to get up for work. <clears throat> yeah, did you hear your chicken? Becoming Wolverine. <laughs> oh, I don't think desktop audio is going through. As soon as we're out of this uh, cutscene, I'll take a look and find out what's going on with the audio. Oh. 
on, release my mouse so I can actually fix this. <laughs> Noting. <clears throat> unexpected visits. Hmm. I like to fix some unexpected audio issues. <laughs> Come on, load. Oh. <laughs> uh, what did I get up to last night? Where's my mouse? Ah. Oh. oh, I selected wrong. <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> he did. Um, ooh, how's with Bianca? Um, archery, speech, strength. Um, I was with Bianca. Oh, whoa, whoa. Henry, let's keep it PG, okay? Five. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna end the dialogue for now, but I can probably I can get back into it. Um, in a moment here. I'm just going to go to the menu for a second. Um, just need to fix the audio. One moment. It's not picking up as it should. Okay. Can do that. Hopefully that'll work there. Uh, exit. No, I'm still not seeing the audio pick up. Bear with me, folks. I'm trying to figure out exactly what the heck is going on. Properties. The world. Trying to get some, trying to just generate some sound here. <laughs> uh, for some reason, it's not wanting to pick up on audio. Alright, so what I'll do is remove the desktop audio, put back in the desktop audio. That exists. Um, sorry for the delay here. I'm just trying to figure out why the audio is not coming up as it should. Okay. Yeah, it should be pulling the sound. I kick the decibels up quite a bit. Okay, that might be a little... <laughs> I think I put it up a little too much. Okay, so let's take it back down just a bit. Okay. Okay. Um, in chat, uh, just let me know if the sounds of the game are too loud. I will adjust uh, as, need as needed. So, alright. Okay, here we go. I need to steal breakfast. Let's see, I get some cheese. Okay, take some cheese. Some apples. First thing in any game is to rob the house wine. If 
Fallout has taught me anything, it is grab anything and everything possible. Mm -hmm. Yep, red rolls. Apples. Just leave the house dry. Take some soup. Take an apple. Ah, fine. I don't want that apple anyway. Alright. Hopefully it's not too choppy. Um, I did some upgrades to my computer today, so hopefully uh, it did resolve some of the issues. At least at least how it's not... Oh, oh I don't want to rob my house. Um, back out. <laughs> Why is that robbing? I live here. Red. Cheese. Okay. I think I got enough food for now. Probably. Whatever. There we go. Ah. Noon. Hi, Mom. Is everything alright, son? Ah. Da, da, da. Do you need help? You need me to do anything, Mom. Do you have a quest that I can ah, experience good, with? Lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Okay. Uh, have my friends been here? Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Good, at least now I know where I'm going. Um. <laughs> yeah, you're misjudging my so friends. Fair. Really? That's all I have to say to it. So That's unfair. Where were you until the small hours last night? You know, when go and blow by blow with Bianca. With Bianca, of course. I told you. you. At Bianca's tavern, <laughs> and who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Lots of bars, but well, you at drinks. Least you were you with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. Clever girl. She to supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. <laughs> At least he's interested. <laughs> I saw that smile drop off your face. Like you lot. <laughs> You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. I think that's their plan. I'm not really hungry because I looted all the food in your house. So, uh, yeah, guess, uh, let's see. Alright, J for typical quests, okay. Go to your father and go to the sword fight lesson. Okay. I guess we'll, uh, see what Dad wants first here. I discovered the crime stone. Hey, Dad, guess what I told you to with Bianca last night? What's the matter with you, Henry? <clears throat> Didn't you hear me calling you? Didn't you hear me calling? Calling? Okay. New speech, which is influenced by reputation. Uh, social status with a crown. Uh, but, uh, something to rely on money. And Henry's other skills, like horsemanship. I can show my dad how good I am with being with a horse or something. I don't know. Special <laughs> Difficulty approaches. Hit the beat theirs, I guess it would be. Yeah, alright. Let's see. Let's see here. I got high. <laughs> I didn't get high. Was not, I won't be ordered around. That's a good thing to say to your dad in this day and age. Uh, I had something to do. I used it. Um, I'd look around. We'll do with that one. Sorry, father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. What? How, oh, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Uh, anyway, we've maybe got halfway work through the game. To do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? A fetch quest. Well, I'm running out of charcoal. <laughs> Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. 
Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Got it. Kunesh, that drunkard. Hey, that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. He's not a drunkard like I am. Next time I'll come myself. I am a respectable drunkard. Use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Who will be happy to hear it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasai. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your it way. It all comes home. down to drinking. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right. But Her make sure Bianca Matilda. draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. Speaking of, uh, she drew me a nice cool one. Uh, well, you're busy. I don't have to tell you about that right now. All right, let's uh, let's go quest and guess. I don't think there's like anything I pick up around here. Like, can I take like a hammer or something with me to go beat some sense into that guy? Like this right here? No. No. All right. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. We got G up here apparently, so let's go. This will be to the Hills or whatever it was. Uh, Janik or Yaroslav? I want to talk to Yaroslav. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father has them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. Except that Bianca. I'm waiting, sir. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Well. Where shall I start? Shut up. I like that girl. Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Poor shadow. I haven't played the game through, I haven't even looked up any uh, spoilers, but it just has that kind of forebode aura, uh, just... Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by Your lordship. Hmm. Might be that how it ends? You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Alright, we got the cross card, and we have a new entry in our codex. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, it actually gives some historic information with the game. Which is really cool, uh, if you ever want to check it out. Um, you know, all the different officials, things like that. What a farmer did. You know, 90% of the populace was it, so. Beekeeping! <laughs> okay, let's get rid of beekeepers. Alright. So, if you ever play the game and you want to look up the history of things, um, at least you get some kind of lesson with it, so it's kind of cool. So, down we go. Into the town. Do you have anything to say to me, mister? Here's the basic villager. Peasant! Okay. Find all your information in the J. Yeah, M for map. There we go. There's a giant over there. Some huge oxen. Uh, yeah, that's. That's where the charcoal is. Kunesh and Ale. Okay. They see me wrong. Okay. This would be. Goodbye. Indeed, I am. Oh, that's charcoal vendor. Uh, let's go this way here. Are your flyers? Hey. Hello. Seem to be having trouble. Um. Forty swing and talk. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? 
Uh, yeah, father sent me for the money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Why don't you look me in my eyes and say that? Um, yeah, pay for the tools at least, man. I know you owe father for a lot more than just the <clears> axe <throat> and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Well. Well, well, well. <laughs> Debts must be paid. <laughs> Apparently he is not a Lannister to pay all his debts. Let's see, I have two speech. That is not good. Um, I'm going to tell my dad on you. That's the way you want it. <laughs> I'll tell father you won't pay, and you can tell him what you told me. Okay. You could do with a bite to eat. Yes, yes, yes. Start or something. Um, is that soup? Eat the soup. There we go. Uh, where's my hunger? Hunger, hunger. No shit. 45. So we have that. Let's have some bread. 52. 56. And some cheese. There we go. Nourishment up to 76. Perfect. Yeah, so, um, on top of everything, it's, you have to maintain, um, Pretty much everything, to be honest with you. I'll wash myself. Eh. The stink hides me. So I gotta find another way. Try and get the axe hammer nails back in the mud. Okay, okay, okay. So. That's a horse, I don't need that. I need a spooner to go walk away. Ah. Uh, crouch. There we go. Yeah, he's he's too close to me. I can't break into his house right now. Uh, let's get rid of that stealth. Guards around. Yeah, I don't want a guard to get me. Okay, okay, okay. Find another one. Hmm. <laughs> Charcoal guy, but I don't have really anything to give him. Trunkies. Hey, Pip. Do you want to learn something? Um, no, I don't think so. Thanks. Oh, you're one of the people I have to talk to. Have you <clears> recovered <throat> from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. I like want a sword like an eagle. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. The sheepfold. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just follow you. Oh, by the way, can I borrow, like, you know, ten gold or whatever? Some charcoal. No. I'm betting the sheep are here. Run! Get out of your sheep! Ah! <laughs> out of my way. Oh my god, is he still on his way? Oh. Alright. I can't open the door. Can't do some casual looting while I'm at it. Come on. There we go. So, can we get started? Damn straight we can. We can. Good. <laughs> and since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, 
You can show me everything I've taught you so far. Oh, he's breaking up with me. Zip. Um. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Yeah. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. Okay. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never right. repeat yourself. Okay. Not bad. Good. Nice. <laughs> now you're getting very good. I'm, I'm so tired. <laughs> the point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Uh oh, okay. Aha! Good. Good. I stab at thee. Nice. Good, good. Let's try oh. something else. One strike. I, I think I broke my wrist. About a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Okay. Ah! Nice. Good. Once again. Now you're getting it. Oh, I'm exhausted after three strikes. <laughs> oh, that was some quick training. Okay. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. Except me. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Okay. I don't, but okay. I'm never going to see combat. Why would I do that? Nothing ever happens in this town. He says, knowing uh, he played a little bit more of the game. <laughs> Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. Wander down here. Discover the tavern. And oh, cutscene. Maybe there we go. <laughs> it has a story, sir. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? Steve Gutenberg. What is this for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German count elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German count. Traitor. Now even the Pope. God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? <laughs> Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the... Someone with midichlorian. And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Well, Winston what? is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deals will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Jops. Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. <laughs> yes, but Goodman George... <laughs> This is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My word to Decker. All right. It's, it's, it's always good to be uh, hearing some Russell drunken conversation. Deutsch is an idiot. Well, what can you do? I might have an idea. <laughs> Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too I, Matthew. Should give him a proper hiding. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> do you want to end up in the pillory? I have the three no, stooges as friends. I've got a better idea. 
Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to this freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather <laughs> touch it to be honest. But Whoa. Don't Too far. Don't judge me, Dave. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for my father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Seraptic's sword. Come on. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And That's true. it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Hmm. Are you with us? Oh, do I bow to peer pressure? Hmm. Uh, I'll do it, but I need your help in return. Yeah, they might be able to help me get the, uh, the stuff up of uh, Kanesh. You know what? Well, I'll, I'll do, do it. it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. I'm weak. I'll back you up. <laughs> Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oath. <laughs> Alright, let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. I think he has a problem. <laughs> uh, let's keep heading this way here. Okay. I feel like Codex. Clothing and fashion. Yeah, don't care right now. Taylor. Be a bit okay. more careful. Damn. Damn what? Cutscene to cutscene. Really? Did I have to really do the walk over here? So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Uh, I think he was kicked by Henry, a horse. You gotta lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. God, my friends are idiots. We're sitting really close to this pile of manure. I'm just saying. But I guess, you know, this time frame. What do you want Everything just kind of smelled like that. Um, yeah, your husband's making trouble. I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exceptions, so I thought... God almighty, that fool. <laughs> Next thing he'll start on about the Pope. Yeah, about that. Oh, the there. Pope too. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. That was pretty easy. Okay. Uh, so, it's not a level or something. Um... I don't know if I'm actually allowed to level level though. Um, ooh, oh, I can add points. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so if I wanted to get stuff up, I could. Skills. Skill of drinking. That'd be nice. Um, alchemy would be kind of cool. Reading. No buffs. Reputation. Um, you know what? Uh, speech might not be a bad thing to get up. Um. Oh, okay. Family owner. Owner, scout, nightfighter. Okay, maybe I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, when it comes to this. Level contest. Okay. So, I want to get my speech up. Uh, show us. Okay. 
Yep, still don't know what I'm doing. Let's continue. Hey friends, we can throw poop at someone. I don't like a song called Getting Your Revenge. Um, he really didn't do anything to me. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king, for king and country. <laughs> and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillar. Nearly. Now that uh. would be sweet. That's for Sigismund. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> shit, soldiers. You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hands. Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Poor sons! Poor sons! Let's make those smiles off your faces! Okay, oh, uh... I'd like to see you try. What are you doing? Foxy Dysha. Maybe you'd like to try out there the latest go. German fashion. For some reason, Twitch was saying I was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! Alright, chat, do um, you think we should bring back Horson as, like, an insult for people? I really think we should. Oh! Hello! Ow! I didn't know. Shit. Back out, back out. Cool to my fix! Take that. Friends! Get in there. Yeah. Ooh, there. That hurt. Okay, so he's done. Uh. Oh. What are you doing? For God's sake! Stop right now! No. Uh, catch ball. No. Run. Run, you coward. Okay. <laughs> Run. <clears throat> Run from whatever catch ball is. Don't mind us, guard. <laughs> Ah. Damn. Have I followed you guys fast enough? Far enough here? <gasps> Ow. Alright. Um, as we're apparently just circling the town, um, we've reached over the halfway moment here. I uh, just want to give a couple shouts out today. Uh, one is to Natural Zero Gaming for providing hosting services and being a friend of the station. Um, if you like gaming in general or you know what you're seeing here today, um, you'll see a lot of the similar stuff um, and a lot of great gameplay from him. So give him a follow. Um, really, good, really great person. Great person to watch uh, play some really good Jeez, games. Look where you're going. And uh, the self-proclaimed uh, worst gamer there is. So if you're looking for... <laughs> Uh, so thank you. Whoa. Okay, everyone just decided to talk to me at one time. Um, yeah, so definitely check out uh, Natural Zero Gaming. So thank you, uh, Nat Zero, for hosting today, and also to YouTube for Nye Filmism. Uh, if you're looking for some uh, really in-depth uh, critical movie review, give them a check out. Uh, that's N I F I L M I S M. Okay, so do we get to beat the crap out of you yet? Oh, I got to get with my friends. Um, where are you guys going? <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, what is that? That's a read. Just a low graphic read. Hello. <clears throat> well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker hand will snitch on us. 
Uh, this has got a, quite a tongue on it. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do first but throw in a bit of dung? Good point. I don't it's know, you like you swallowed your tongue. The bridge. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, uh, nice job. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I still need your help. So, back into the cutscene. I have to sit through the entire thing again. How did things end up at the... No. No. True, but I'm worried that... No. Good point. Okay. I need, I need help a hand with Kino. Sure, man. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it, then. Yeah, look, four of us beat up a drunk old man. Yay! Hey there, Good drunk action. old man. Get out here, you old goat. I've he's, something to show you. He's right there. What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a rip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Alright. Take that. Tug. Ow. Ah. You fucking dog. Oh. oh, you guys get on him. Go, fight. Ah, got some good hits on him there. Is anyone going to help me? Fine, I'll do it myself. Oh, worthless. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Yeah, sure do. Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to take my axe. Thank you. I'm now going to break into your house. Thank you. Uh, what do we got here? Some dirty plates. Um, a goat baby pen? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Broken ass room. Uh, anything there? Nope. Okay. So far, nothing worth stealing here, Kanesh. I got an axe now. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing in the weird basket. Uh, food. I'll take some. Thank you. And a pot. And a chest. Excellent. Go oh, take them. Anything else I can take from you? No. Apparently, all he had to his name was everything that my father made for him. Aw, oh, he looks so sad now. I too bad I really don't care. He has a hammer, though. He has a hammer. It's right there. Yeah. And apparently, he has two horses. Also, well, just community. Those could be community horses. Um, I need to sell my items. So, what do you need? Just a few little things. Someone who would be a good seller. Come again anytime. You. This is a person. <clears throat> God be with you. And with you. <laughs> let's cut to the let's cut to the chase. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to sell axe, basket, a hammer, the nails. That's all my food. I'm gonna keep those. So, basket. And haggle. Oh, there we go. Let's have a word about the price. Naturally. <laughs> okay, works both ways when you buy cheap or sell deer. Select the amount using the W and S. Confirm E. Respond to your offer. Make a counter up and wait for the response. Okay. 
There's a lot of kids in one direction. They don't have enough money. And eventually they'll stop doing anything. Perfect. Okay. It's offering 5.6. I would like... 6. Make offer. What about this? Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so he's offering 5.7. Um, five seven's good. Let's try for five eight. Hi. For okay. that amount, I can be persuaded. Nice. So I got a little bit more money than I. Whoa, hello. No. Um, got a little bit more coin in my pocket than I would have if I just would have accepted it outright. So always good. Charcoal burner. Good health to you. And <laughs> you know, with friends, drunkards, I'm very polite and you know, may the gods be with you. Um to traders, it's like, dude, we're getting down to the fucking deal now. <laughs> Alright, so I need uh charcoal and I need ten sets. Baskets. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's haggle here too. May as well. I want as I'd much like money as I can. The price. Sure, why not? Okay. So he wants five. What if I offer four or five? What about this? Well, now a little more and we'll shake on it. Okay, alright. Or eight. Or seven. Alright, sir. Excellent. Give me those sweet, sweet copper. Uh, alright. So, I think I'm down to just getting beer. Yeah. Alright. Okay, this should be the bar, I believe. It is! Yay! Hello, Bianca. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too. After that right jolly rogering I gave you. Uh, you do. Your beauty, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm such a charmer. So. <laughs> I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And, apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Hmm. I already dealt with a Dutchman. Oh, that's the other way I could have gone. I could have came in here and had him dealt with, probably, instead of, uh, toting his house of crap. Uh, but I did. A picture of her father. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual. Aye. Bring me pitcher, a cool one keg. Cask. <laughs> of course. And if I don't bring it back cold, he's gonna beat me. Here you are. Thanks. So I pulled it out of her pocket. It's a mate. And I put it in mine. Okay. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Whoa. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening, I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. There's a lot of innuendo Thanks. there. You'll have it's something way to look too to this evening. <laughs> you Keep it in your pants, Henry. Keep it in your pants. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty-looking fellow was asking after you. Lanyard. Already talked to him. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing on his wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. Well, you're happy to but know he's gone what for good. In heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. What a charmer you are, Henry. I've got something special for you. Ooh. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite. Oh. Save your schnapps. Oh, really? You're an angel. I would have taken bubblegum, but, you know. Properly later. <laughs> you bet I will. Bianca, 
You need a cold bath, lady. Um, let's see. I just got schnapps. Let's go to food, I guess. Uh, what do you do? You. Exotic fragrance. Alcohol freshness. Oh, it refreshes you. Oh, no, that's just how. <laughs> Oh, it is. Um, okay. I don't know exactly what special it is, but I'm sure I'll find out eventually. Open Z door. And. Alright, drunk guy's gone now. Alright, gotta bring cold beer to dad. Cold beer to dad now. Everyone out of the way! My dad needs alcohol! Losing consciousness. Dad, beer here now. <laughs> All right. About the things you wanted. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Um, uh, I have. Yeah. I have charcoal, the hilt, yep, and the yeah. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Tell you're not blinking at me, father. Is something wrong? Right. <laughs> Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal do for us. <sighs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Oh, damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe. Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. We'll fire up the forge and put it all together. I don't know where I was keeping the charcoal, but yeah, I had it. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Even the dad snickered at that. Sure, you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking Snipe. treason in the Ow. tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. <laughs> he got what he deserved, did he? As he throws me into the kiln. You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. My unblinking eyes. Look me in them. Do you understand? Ah, he blinks. There we go. I understand. I think Henry blinks too much now. Then we'll never <laughs> have this conversation again. Until the next time. So you think when it's hard to, to speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught, making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Thanks, Uncle Ben. I hope you live a long, prosperous life. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. We're getting some really good instruction on sword making here. Or at least, I guess, the end portion of sword making. Do it. Building a sword. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Yay. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. You know, I get why they're doing this, but the game kind of grinds to a halt with these long, uh, extended, uh,
cutscenes. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Harold. I was Here, a king I once. Mother you. Why would I want any <laughs> other life? You remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. But he didn't know how to create war. <laughs> but Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose life is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Oh, father-son bonding moment. And we'll put it all together. Again, I'm sure everything's going to be really great for both of them in the future. A little clip through your chest there. Magnificent. Indeed it is. Uh, sorry. Right. Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Oh. My objective now. <laughs> uh, can I talk to Teresa? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. More fetching. Uh, trunk in the living room of our one room house. Um, there we go. Cut something. Uh, nourishment health. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm taking everything. So, thank you. I'm glad I noticed. I'm glad I found that. Okay. Mom, I hope you don't die. Bye. No, yeah, I'm right here. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why sure do you ask? Paul, have you Just wondering, deaf? will you be going to the dance this evening? <laughs> we will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Thanks, Teresa. <laughs> Henry! Henry! <clears throat> fine lass, eh? <laughs> yeah, fine lass. Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the oh, trial Henry. by fire. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Not bad. Would you like to try it? <laughs> sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Try it. Oh, this will be fun. I had sword training, you know. Haha! -ha. Good, huh? You still have a lot to learn. <laughs> Ask your father to show you how. I'm he a master swordsman. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isman? 
True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. Nicopolis. I, I wish I knew where half these cities were. Oh, to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. Hmm. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. I must leave before a very important event, so uh Learn from have your fun. father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Yes, I am also very sure our paths will cross again. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. Plot progression. It's been an honor, Sage Count. Have a safe journey to Sapper. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. So I haven't touched my mouse in like five minutes. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. We have plenty of time for you to tell me your life story, don't you we, Dad? me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said. <clears throat> Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green and the forge. Yeah. You know the trouble with an adventurous life is like Frodo. It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets here. Beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Don't worry, Dad, right, you will. One day. <clears throat> first, I'd like to see the world. Meet new people. Meet Kill them. them. Or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. Ooh. Uh oh. The messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Oh, Dad, how about you grow some legs and go check it out? Oh, I'm guessing that happened. Never mind. Sorry I got snippy with you, Dad. <laughs> um, an army from Total Rome is invading. Yes, I'm handsome. He's bald. <laughs> huh? Wonder what that's about. <laughs> Listen to me now. Listen carefully. Take the sword. Go into the house and grab anything else important for your trouble. Already been to the castle. Hurry. What about you? Dad's gonna get his kill on. <laughs> Follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say. Right Wasn't mother over by the house? Give the sword to Sir Radzik. Thought she was. Happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. Okay. Um, Henry. We, we had everything from there. You literally got nothing. Ooh. Shot right to the throat. Quickly! We have to close the gate! Move! Come on, we're closing! Move in, people! Come on! We're running come out of time! On. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! Henry! In! In, Henry! Come on! Mind this for me! Are you mad? You can't go back! Get through the gate! Oh, Henry. Well, I guess we wouldn't have a story if he just got there safely, really, I guess, yeah. <laughs> there you go, Dad. One down. Two down. Three. Not bad. Oh, Miss evil Mr. Clean saw you. 
four, five. Six. And... Oh. He was tapped on the back. I'll go back and Haruka, no. Ooh. Ooh. It, I think she's dead. Um, quite possibly. <laughs> Everyone looks back at me. <laughs> huh. Well. <laughs> okay. I better get my hands on the controls here. <laughs> I like how nobody's like really running towards me. They do the slow walk up to me. <laughs> Protect me! Oh, you ass. Um, why couldn't you let me in? <laughs> okay. This is the part where I'm really not good at. Um, I've died numerous times doing this portion uh, coming up here. Um, which is horse. Horse play. <laughs> so to speak. Not good at all. Okay. So you gotta keep up a really, really uh, fast speed when you're doing it. Come on, load it. Game save. Okay. Run! Um, what I want to do is I want to get to the uh, next, uh, pretty much the next uh, city before I call it quits for the day. I know we're over an hour right now. Um, Will, don't worry, we're... <laughs> We'll get there. Um, the stables are down this way. I hope I didn't pass by him. Don't touch me, or I'll kill you. Uh, horse riding. X, W, A, Z, Y. Uh, left ship. Canter. Left ship, left ship. Okay. Uh, sorry. Can't help you. Gotta go. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Mount. Sorry, I'd like to help, but, uh, I have a problem, um, with my, um, living. Ah, I froze. <laughs> I don't know if that was like Teresa or Bianca. I don't know which one it was. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, right in the leg, right to start off. Okay. Hopefully I don't fail too hard. Load me in. I don't want to just load in and die automatically. <laughs> Good. Next to the left. Run, horse, run. Run like the wind, Sea Biscuit. Ah. Ah. Fences. Left. Our log is to the left along the stream. Tomberg is to the left. Run. Oh, they're like right on me. <laughs> Run for it. Mm. 
Come on. There's so much, so much running to do. <laughs> Book it, folks. Book it. <laughs> ah, out of my way. <laughs> no. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, I know, Ed. Run! Oh, good. There it is. Oh, first time. First time, first time. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I would say that too if I'm bearing down on me. <laughs> Assemble the Riders of Rohan! I guess these guys look more like Gondor. Aduken! Uh, so yeah, um, this was the first part of, uh, Kingdom Come, uh, Deliverance. It's, it's fun! Um, I hope it wasn't too choppy, really, for everyone. Um, and it's a lot of dialogue, it's really, di it's dialogue heavy, uh, which is, uh, one of the criticisms I read about it. But it's really fun, um, this, all of this has just been really the introductory portion to it. Someone give him a drink! And bring hot wine and bandages. And I'm not going to be able to stop until they finish with with this little part here. So as soon as I regain control, I'll do the save. Then uh, we'll call it a, we'll call it a part here. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from. Space. Well, I grew an arrow out of my leg. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never Tartars. seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Ah, guess right. Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that hair out. Oh, even the guard turned away. <laughs> oh. Did I take it like a man? Easy. Oh, that went in really Hold far. On. Holy crap. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. And you know, I need bandaging, and I've done like that, that often enough before. <laughs> War is a good teacher. Can you stand? <sighs> There you go. As good as new. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Henry's just having a bad day. Just you a really idlers bad nothing day for better Henry. to do. Get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? <laughs> oh, he's a puppy. Very nice. Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Rohan. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? That's Did a very you young voice coming from the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. 
They burned Scarlet to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. No, they, they were just, they were assholes. From the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said I they love the hat. From the east, and now this is a dapper hat. Made. Sacking Gutenberg. Must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scarlet is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry. He's full of good news. Son of the Scarlet Blacksmith. I know him. <laughs> Did he make it inside the castle? Everyone knows your dad. I'm sorry. Or new, I should say. Sorry, don't it's incentive to Henry. Now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. And he's just going to drink all night. <laughs> all right. Um, I think I'm finally going to be able to take control here. <clears throat> Couple of objectives kicked in there. And loading. Maybe. Loading. Possibly. Oh, it's got to load a whole new city, I guess. There we go. Okay. Uh, so let me just get out of everyone's way. Uh, so yeah, that was Kingdom Come Deliverance Part 1. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be kicking it up with Part 2. Same. Uh, part 2, kicking up the same time tomorrow, 6 p.m. Um... Yeah, this is fun. I really do hope that the frame rate is not atrocious. Um, from what I was seeing on the uh, Twitch desktop app, it wasn't horrible. Uh, there was some dips, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to try and correct some of them within the in-game settings uh, that I can. So hopefully it'll be a little bit better uh, next stream. Uh, but I will have it loaded right into this next stream. So with that, uh, thank you again to Natural Zero Gaming for providing hosting. Thank you, Nifilism, over on YouTube. Uh, make sure you follow both of them. And if you like what you see here, and if you want to make sure that you get notifications of when I stream, which is usually 6 p.m. Uh, Thursday through Tuesday, uh, follow the channel. Um, you know, the chat's always open if you ever want to chat. Um, but yes, give it a follow if you want to get notifications when I go live. So with that said, everyone, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Thursday. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great new adventure. Peace out, everyone. Take it easy.